Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Today I have brought to you another interesting and important topic that is how to check quality of brakes. Now to check the quality of brakes, the brake must go through these mentioned tests. Some of these tests are a laboratory test and other tests can be performed at site. So what are these tests? First one is compressive strength test. Second one is water absorption test. Third one is hardness test. Fourth one is soundness test. Fifth one is efflorescence test. Sixth one is shape and size test. Seven is impact test. Number eight is structure test. And number nine is color test. We will discuss these tests one by one. But before we start our today's topic, if you are new to my channel, you are requested to please subscribe it and press the bell icon to get more video updates so let's start our today's topic first of all brick what is brick bricks are man-made stones usually made of clay by kneading dried and then burned for few hours to enable them to bear some load Before concrete blocks, bricks were the only building blocks for walls construction and other monumental purposes. As you can see over here, these are the old or you can see the old historical buildings were made up of, of bricks because bricks are cheap, light in weight and easily available. To build a long lasting structure, we should always use good quality bricks and other building materials. Now when we talk about the good quality bricks, as I told you before that for good quality bricks, the brick must undergo the mentioned tests. Okay. Now first one is compressive strength test. It is also called as crushing strength test. This is laboratory test in which randomly five bricks are taken to check their crushing strength in compression testing machine. This is the layout of a compression testing machine. Load is applied downward as you can see over here by this arrow. This is the load cell and fixed plate. This is the fixed plate and this is sample moving plate. This is the brick sample. Brick sample or specimen in which frog is upward. Frog is placed upward and pressure is applied from the top. Okay. Now the maximum pressure at which the brick starts to crack is noted for all five samples and then average is considered as its strength. How can we calculate the compressive strength that is the load applied is noted for all five samples and then dividing it by the area facing the load. Okay, the area of a brick facing the load. So the minimum compressive strength should be 105 Newton per centimeter square or kg per centimeter square. This is the strength of a brick of a first class brick. Now compressive strength of different types of bricks are shown over here. First class brick must have a strength of 105 kgs per centimeter square. Similarly, second class brick should have 70 kg per centimeter square of compressive strength. Common building bricks should have 15, uh, 35 kg per centimeter square and sun dried bricks should have 15 to 25. Now, as the strength indicates, the first and second class brick should be used in superstructures. And now, uh, as you can see over here, the strength indicates these are the low standard bricks and these should be used in substructure. The second test is water absorption test in which sample of brick is weighed in dry condition and say W1, dry weight is W1, then sample is immersed in water for 24 hours. Then sample is weighed again and wet weight is noted as W2. Difference in weights that is dry weight and wet weight indicates the amount of water absorbed by the bricks and this percentage can be obtained by using this formula that is W2 that is wet weight minus dry weight divided by dry weight multiplied by 100 to get the percentage and this percentage 
in any case should not exceed 20% of dry weight for first class brake if, if if it absorb more than 20% of water then it should not be considered for superstructures or you can say it is not first class brake this is a test for quality of a brake third one is hardness test in hardness test a good brake should resist scratches against sharp things for this test a sharp tool or fingernail is used to make scratch on brake if there is no scratch impression on the brake then it will be considered as good quality brakes the fourth one is soundness test in this test two random brakes are picked and struck against each other if brakes remain unbroken and produce a metallic sound then this brake is considered good quality break so by striking these two breaks against each other it should produce a metallic sound if it produces metallic sound then it is it is considered good quality break this test can be performed on site the fifth test for break quality is efflorescence test soluble salts are available in break causes efflorescence the presence of such salts can be determined to know the presence of soluble salts in a brick that brick is placed in water bath for 24 hours and dry it in shade after drying observe the brick surface thoroughly if there is any white or gray color deposits then it contains soluble salts and not useful for construction okay as you can see over here these brick contains soluble salts one point should be noted over here that when you soak the brick brick in water this water should be pure free, free of any uh, salts or free, free of uh, impurity it should be drinkable water a fluorescence in brick is denoted by nil slight moderate heavy or serious as defined below as you can see over here in this picture observation versus a fluorescence if there are no salt deposition then there is no efflorescence if 10% of brick surface is white after the immersion in water for 24 hours then after drying after uh, drying it in sunshade then if there appears white shade on a brick and it covers 10% of the brick surface then it is slight the efflorescence is slight and it is okay to use if this percentage is between 10 to 25 percent of brick surface then efflorescence is moderate if this percentage is 25 to 50 percent of brick surface then it is heavy efflorescence is heavy it should not be recommended this brick should not is, is not recommended for construction and if it exceeds 50 percent of brick surface then efflorescence is extreme and these bricks should be rejected straight away the sixth one is shape and size test this test can be performed at site as well in this test 20 bricks are randomly collected and arranged in a straight line this is done to see the variation of shape size and color with standard bricks bricks of standard size as we know that standard size of a brick is 190 times 90 into 90 millimeters are randomly collected and are stacked lengthwise and heightwise as you can see over here these 20 bricks are stacked in lengthwise and then in heightwise okay the result should be within the permissible limits that the length should be equal to 36802 3920 this is the limit the if we stack 20 bricks lengthwise then its length should be within this range and its width should be within this range that is 174021860 millimeters and its height should be 174021860 it's mean that if we place break over a break in a, a height wise that the height should be 174021860 millimeters if it complies within this range uh, then you can consider them good quality bricks because their shape and size is uniform seven test is impact test and it can also be performed on site 
in this test few bricks are dropped from one meter height as you can see in this picture if bricks are broken it indicates low impact value and not acceptable for construction work good quality bricks do not break at all if it is dropped from one meter height Eighth test is structure test and this test can also be performed on site in this test brick is broken and thoroughly investigated it should be compact homogeneous and free of any flaws like holes cracks lumps etc as you can see over here this brick is considered good because it is homogeneous and free of other flaws if such flaws have observed then the brick is considered poor quality as you can see over here in this picture there are holes and lumps present in the uh, structure of the brick so such kind of a brick is not considered of good quality brick the last but not least color test a good brick should possesses bright and uniform color throughout its body i hope you have understand the topic and for more such informative videos you are requested to please subscribe the channel and don't forget to press the bell icon to get video updates